Hello and welcome everyone to another video on Tutor LMS Academy. Today we have a very special video as today's video is going to be on the all new native subscription feature of Tutor LMS. So the Tutor LMS subscriptions is divided into three parts. You can have course-based subscriptions, you can have course bundle-based subscriptions, or full site and category-specific membership options as well. So in this video, we're gonna go through all these four options. So let's get right into it. So first of all, we need to navigate to Tutor LMS settings, monetization, and we, we need to make sure that the Tutor native e-commerce engine is selected because the Tutor LMS native subscription only works with the Tutor LMS native e-commerce. So once you ensure that go to the add-ons tab scroll down find the subscription add-on and make sure that this add-on is enabled once you enable this add-on you will see that a new subscriptions tab has appeared in the tutor elements menus so first let's go over how we can do course based subscriptions for course based subscriptions you need to come to the course builder of any course that you want to add subscriptions to when you make the course paid you can set a regular price and a sale price. Now this will be the one-time purchase prices for this course. And here we'll see a new button appear, which will let us add a subscription to this course. So if you click on this, you'll get this pop-up and you can configure your subscription from here. So let's start making our subscription plan for this course. So before we head into the subscriptions, we can see that the price for this course is 199 and the sale price is 149. So obviously we want our subscription to reflect this price. So if you go to add the subscription, let's call this monthly silver subscription. And since this is a monthly subscription, we'll set the price to $20 per month. And you can set the billing interval from days, weeks, months, or even years if you want. You can set a billing cycle, meaning how many times one student will auto subscribe to this course. So if the billing cycle is set to three times, they will only be able to avail the subscription for three months because our billing interval is set to one month. And if you set it to until cancel, that means that this subscription will not end. They will be able to renew this every month as they go. After that, you can decide if you want to charge an enrollment fee. So you can set an enrollment fee of let's say $2. And then you can also charge choose to not provide a certificate for the course that this subscription is for. So how that works is if your subscription is much less expensive than the base price of the course, then you can opt to not provide the certificate, but we're not going to select that. If you want to mark it as featured, then this subscription will be featured in the pricing list. So they'll see that this is a value added subscription. And you can also put a sale price for the subscription. Now this will not reflect the sale price of your course this is only for this specific subscription so let's let's go ahead and add a sale price as well you can also schedule the sale price so if you want to have it on for a certain period of time you can do that but we'll have the sale on indefinitely once you're done with that hit save and you'll see that your subscription has been saved if you want you can add more plans for this specific course as well but we'll just go with the one that we created and now you have three purchase options here. So you can see that there is a subscription here for this course. If you select one-time purchase only as the purchase option, that means that students will not be able to see this subscription option when they go to buy this course. If you set it to subscription only, then students will only see this subscription and not the actual base price of the course. And the third option, students will see both the one-time purchase plan and the subscription plan on the same page. Hit update and let's take a look at what this course looks like on the front end. So on the front end, you can see in the pricing section, there is a one-time purchase, which is 149, and there's a subscription. And if you click on the subscription, you'll see which subscription tier it is. So if you have multiple subscriptions for the same course, they'll show up here as a list, but since we only have one, we just see this one, and we'll see that there's a discount on the subscription, and you can see the details of the subscription as well, that this is billed every month, there is a $2 enrollment fee and certificate is available for this course with the plan. If you buy this subscription plan, you'll enroll in the course and your plan will be renewed once every month. Okay, 
So now let's add a subscription to a course bundle. So here we have a skeleton for a course bundle in the course bundle editor. So we're calling this a web dev masterclass. So let's add two courses to it. So we'll add this course and we'll add this course here as well. So after you set the two courses, you can see that the regular price of this bundle would be 318. So we'll add a sale price and then we can add a subscription much as you did for the course subscription. This is the same structure. So since this is a course bundle, it should be a bit higher price because you're getting multiple courses in the same bundle. And with a monthly subscription, you'll have access to all of these courses within the bundle. So if your bundle has 10 courses, if someone pays whatever price you set for your subscription, they'll have access to all 10 courses. So let's set the subscription price to something a bit more substantial. And for the billing interval, let's change this. We'll set this to once every week and we'll set a billing cycle of six times. So that means that this subscription will be active for six weeks and students will pay a total of six into 30, $180 for the entire subscription. We won't charge an enrollment fee here and we'll go ahead and provide the certificate as well. And for this one, let's also set a sale price. So we'll set this to $24.99 and we'll schedule a sale price. So we'll set it to, let's say, a week. So once you're done with that, hit save and you'll see your subscription here. Now let's change the purchase option to subscription only. So we won't see what the one-time purchase option for this course bundle is. We'll only see the subscription price. So if you go to the front end, you'll see that in the pricing section, there's only one item to choose and you'll see the details of the subscription. It's billed every week for six billing cycles. That means that this course bundle subscription will be active for six weeks and certificates are available. So if you go to buy now, you'll be able to buy the whole course bundle. So after that, we have sidewise subscriptions and category based subscription, which we're calling membership. And these are actually part of the tutor LMSs membership phase one. Let's take a look at what membership looks like. So for memberships, since this is a site wise and a category wise membership, this is not found in the course builder or the course bundle builder. So for this, we need to go to settings and and under monetization, we'll find the subscriptions tab. If you go to the subscriptions tab, you'll see you can add new membership plans. Apart from this, there's also some additional settings for the subscriptions. Anyway, so let's go ahead and set up a membership package plan for our whole site. So this setup is a bit different from the course and the course bundle subscription. So since this is a site-wise membership, we'll make two tiers, right? So we'll call this gold membership. You can set a short description for the membership, what kind of membership this is, then you can set a plan price. So how much they would pay per billing cycle to subscribe to your entire site. So over here, you'll see there's a membership type. So we'll do the full site membership and then we'll do the specific category based membership as well, right? So we'll set the plan price to 49. So we'll set this to a two month billing cycle. That means that students will be billed once every two months. So if they pay $50, they will be subscribed to our entire site for two months. And let's say the billing cycle can be until canceled. So as long as they want to subscribe to our site. So we set the membership type to full site. And then over here on the features tab, you can let students know what is included with this membership. Let's say we have 50 courses on our site. We want to communicate that to our students. So we'll tell them that get access to 50 exclusive courses. If you want to add more features or more attraction for the student, you can add it here. You can charge an enrollment fee for this membership. You can charge an enrollment fee if you want, because since this is a membership for your entire site, you have side charges that you need to think about. If your prices are already inclusive of the enrollment fee that you might need, then you don't need to charge an enrollment fee because sometimes it can be a barrier for students. If they see a chart, enrollment fee on top of an already existing membership price, they might not be too interested to purchase it, right? Now, since we 
mentioned over here that we are offering certificates for all the courses, then we should not take the do not provide certificate checkbox. So if you take this checkbox, that means that any course a student takes under this membership for your site, they would not get a certificate for a single one. And then you can mark it as featured. You can also add a featured text as why this subscription or membership is featured. So we'll say that this is an exclusive all access membership. And then you can also add a sale price for the membership if you want, but we'll keep it at that. Hit save and we can see that our subscription or membership has been saved. At any time that you want, you can toggle this off. So that means that new students would not be able to subscribe to this membership. And if you want to edit it, you can also do it from here. So now that we've made a full site membership, let's go ahead and create a category based membership. So since this is a category based, we can select multiple categories of courses that we want to include in the membership. So let's go ahead and select business and development. So since this category contains only courses from business and development, we'll call this a business student membership. We can add a short description for this membership, same as before. So we'll call this an exclusive membership for business students only. Now, when you go to set the price, you can see how many courses you have for your specific categories that you selected. So we have three courses from the business category and we only have one course from the development category. Because this isn't a lot of courses, so we can set a much lower price for our membership. So we'll set it to $9.99. We'll just keep the billing interval to one month and we'll set a billing cycle of three times. That means that this subscription will auto end for a student after three months. So for this, let's go ahead and charge an enrollment fee. So we'll set this to two dollars and since this is a cheap membership plan we don't want to provide a certificate for this membership so any of the courses that students will take under this plan they will not get a certificate for a single one of them so once we've configured all of that we'll go ahead and hit save once again you can toggle this off to turn off the membership anytime you want and if you want to edit it you can edit it here or you can also duplicate the plan and then you can change a few things here and there but we don't want to keep a duplicate so we'll get rid of this after you've made all the changes after you've added all your membership plans hit save changes. And now let's take a look at how this looks on the front end. So TutorMS will create a new pricing page for your memberships with the new update. So be sure to regenerate the pages. And on the pricing page, we will be able to see all the subscriptions for site-wise membership and category-wise membership, they will be listed here. Your course and your course bundle-based subscriptions will not show up here. So you can see that the gold membership that we created and we featured shows up like this. So any of the memberships that you create and you featured them, they'll be highlighted like this. And you can see all the details of the membership. So this is $49.99 for two months. It says you can get access to all courses in the site and the specific benefits that this membership has. And if you are subscribed to any of the membership, then you will have a pop-up whenever you're on the site, which says that you have an active membership. So you'll always know if your subscription is active or on hold or canceled. And now we only have one more page that we haven't explored, which is under the tutor elements menus called subscriptions. So this is actually a listing of all the subscriptions that students have purchased. So any of the memberships that you have, be it course based, bundle based, or full site memberships, you'll find all of them here. You'll see all the details and the students. And most importantly, you'll see when the next payment date for this is. So you can have a track of when your payments are coming in. If you want, you can edit any of the subscriptions so you can change the status of the subscription from active to keeping it on hold or cancel if you keep it on hold right after you set it to hold this student will lose access of your entire site since this membership gave them access to the entire site so any of the courses that were they were doing they would not be able to continue those courses anymore but the moment you put the subscription back to active, they will instantly regain access and they will be able to continue with the course progress as they were. And well, that's it everyone. Thank you for watching. We hope that this tutorial was helpful for you all. This was a complete rundown of the all new native subscriptions feature of Tutor LMS and the membership phase one of Tutor LMS. If you have any questions, be sure to let us know in the comments. And as always, we'll see you in the next one, everyone.